Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be going over everything that you will need for a tier 4 mining setup. So we added a big power generator. We got a big excavator. You're going to need two TDJ sluice boxes. One S rocks sluice box. Um, if you want to have it maxed out anyways, you're going to have a conveyor belt hopper. A conveyor belt. And you might want this fig fuel tank but we'll skip out on it because we need to add this D rocker prices do change so it'll be in the ballpark but might be a little different uh, we'll need old Arnold's trommel we'll add one of those don't need this yet or this or that and then we need two planters and then we're gonna add the front end loader again you might not need this but we'll add it and then that should be everything wait actually no way I'm missing something uh, yep ST sluice box you'll need one of those alright and let's go check out now we got everything so that's 1.672 million for me we'll order that and we'll get everything over to old Arnold's. So, power generator, excavator, sluice box, sluice box, sluice box, conveyor belt, got the D rocker, trommel, two planters, front end loader, another sluice box. And in total, that's going to be 16,700. So, that's a little added cost if you're just starting out. You might forget they have transport cost. And then here I've slowed it down. Uh, you'll actually need five buckets. One at the top and one of the sluice boxes. You guys can pause anytime throughout this, but here's another order of stuff. Here's our third. And this took us two trips because I was actually going to get the big trailer, but then I forgot to need the uh, either the diesel water pump or a different water pump. So we took off the big trailer. And then lastly, I got both sizes of cables, but all the 4 meter ones work. So the first thing you're going to do is unhook your uh, trailer. You're going to plug in into the in. We're going to run this uh, huge water hose down to the river. Uh, you're going to need to park it somewhat close. Oh, what the heck. And really? Okay, so my hose doesn't want to go in the water. It has plenty of reach there we go and then you're gonna hook up to the ones that have these weird flaring out ends this will be the first one you're gonna want to put in well you could put them in different order but I like to do these ones first because they are sort of in the middle and they become hard to do later on if you don't put these in first so there's one And here comes the second one. Lift it up a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to put in a planter. So we got this. We just swing it to the left. Bring it down. A little more left and up. That locked into place. And we got the second planter here. We're going to go straight on with this one. There we go. That looks good. And I did this a little out of order, so I did that one. Don't do that one first. It makes this one quite a struggle, as you'll see me struggling here in just a second. So I'm trying to get it in, but it doesn't want to go because the other one's sort of blocking it. We managed to get it, but just do that the long one first. There we go. Do the long one, and then do that one that goes off to the side. Uh, now it's daytime. It took us a while. I had to turn around the uh, D rocker. I had it in backwards. Sometimes it's easier to not use the cables, which is the case here. I'm just driving it forward, pushing it into place. All right. Now we'll grab the conveyor belt hopper, and we'll slide that one back. Drop it down a little bit. There we go. And 
The last one we got to put in is the old Arnold's Trommel. We're just a little bit too far, so we have to roll over a little bit of our stuff, which is fine. doesn't break or anything. There we go. And then we got to put our um, big power generator somewhere over here. So we'll place it like this and we'll go a little bit to the right so that side goes down. All right, let's check that out. See how that looks. Let me see if it's flat. Yep. All right. We'll unhook this. And now we're going to power everything up. So we'll get the D-Rocker with a big power cable. Grab another big power cable. And we'll plug in the conveyor belt. Now we'll grab a third power cable. Big power cables. And we'll plug that one in. And we'll grab these sluice box crates. We need four of them in here. There's two. Here's number three. And number four. There we go. Uh, we're stuck a little bit. There we go. All right, then we'll grab the huge water hose. We'll put that in the out. And then we'll run this down just a little bit here. And we'll grab the big power splitter, or huge water splitter, excuse me. We'll hook up one of the fat water hoses. We'll run that up to the D-Rocker. Plug that in. And I'm sorry if this is a little unorganized, guys. I just start grabbing stuff and putting it all together, but um, you can watch parts of it back. And then we got the fat water hose down to the uh, water splitter. Put this bucket in here, put this bucket here. We'll grab this water hose and just hook it up for now. We'll just drop it. Then we got that sluice box, that sluice box there. We'll start putting these hog pan mats on. These are the smaller ones. Sluice box extension. And the other, well, we'll put the mats on here first. Oops. There we go. And let's put that one into place. Let's grab the sluice box. You'll need the sluice box with a pump, by the way. Um, we got this power cable, the smaller ones, so we'll run that up, put that into the big power generator. That will give our planters power, or one of our planters. We'll put that into the second slot. The other one's a little farther, so we'll grab this power cable, plug that in to old Arnold's trommel, and we'll run that one up to the big power generator again. There we go. That should be all of them. We got the D-Rocker, conveyor belt, conveyor belt container, and old Arnold's trommel. Got a little lag there. So all these are hooked up with power. And then we'll run back down here. We need to plug this little hose, a thin water hose. Uh, I guess we'll unwind it because I can't find the end. Plug that back in and plug that in, really. And we'll make sure we get it. There we go. And we got two more mats, hog pan mats, and two more over here. We'll get the far one first. And we'll grab this bucket, put that in here, and we'll grab this sluice box or uh, hog pan with a pump. Put that thin water hose on it. Run that back over to the power or er, water splitter. Grab this bucket, put that in, grab this mat, put that in, and we'll leave that uh, power cable for now. So we'll grab these minor moss mats, we'll need six of those, and we'll put those six in here. So there's number five and number six. Then we'll need to grab these miners grills, which it looks like I need a crouch. There we go. Number one, number two and three. Then we'll grab this power cable. We'll make sure we get power to the second planter. So we'll run that one up. Oh, whoops. I lost it. Where did it go? Ah, there it is. So we'll run this one up. Plug that into the big power generator. 
and we'll go back down. We gotta pl uh, not plug. We gotta put set up the other side here with miners moss and miners grills. So we'll need six on this side as well. Two, three, four, five, and number six. And then we'll need these grills. And the last one. So now everything down here is set up. We got all the mats in the sluice boxes. We got water to the pumps. We got power to the planters. And the water splitters hooked up, going all the way up. We got mats and miners' grills in those. And this has power. This has power. This has power. This has power. And we got our grates in here. So that's it. Everything's ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.